Hey guys, so today guys my video is about autism and coronavirus. Now the title is very vague and that's because I really need to explain what I mean. So through the last month I would say or since we've been in lockdown I have actually started to realise the whole lockdown and the coronavirus situation is very much like what somebody with autism might experience. And you're probably thinking how do you mean? Now obviously I'm not referring to the unfortunate and sad passings and deaths that has contributed because of coronavirus and the deaths that have been caused by coronavirus because and having autism isn't a deadly virus. However, I'm really talking about the way that the lockdown and coronavirus has made people feel. And again, I'm not talking about coronavirus symptoms like cough or pain or anything like that. I'm more talking about the emotional feeling that everybody has got with the lockdown. And the reason I draw comparison is because of the following. There's only 16% of people with autism in full-time work. That hasn't changed for 10 years. Now more than ever, people are uncertain about their jobs. Not only with autism, but people without the condition as well. A lot of people are getting furloughed, a lot of people are losing their jobs, and a lot of people don't know what's going on. Also with employment, people with autism want to work, but employers aren't giving them the chance. And that's very much employers now with this whole lockdown. No employer wants to hire because of the lockdown. Brings me on to number two, people are feeling uncertain. Their routines are being broken. And that is a common occurrence with autism. People with autism often worry about the uncertainty and they also don't like their routine being broken. And that's happening for everyone at the moment as well. And number three as well, no one can socialise. People with autism really want to socialise. Remember growing up, I struggled to socialise. I didn't know how to, I didn't know what to say, I didn't know what to do. Now, people generally want to socialise, but they're being told that they can't. So a lot of people are feeling lonely. And that's also a fact with autism. More people with autism are more likely to feel lonely. So. It just dawned on me the other day that the, the actual feelings of this lockdown and this pandemic are very similar to what somebody with autism might be feeling. And again, you know, this isn't the key to understanding autism, but I thought if there's one good thing that could come out of this horrible situation is that people may understand just a little bit what autism might feel like. People without the condition that don't really understand autism, you might just be able to, just a little bit, think about how you felt in this situation and actually you'll find that that's what people with autism might feel all the time. But guys, obviously I'm not comparing autism to the coronavirus, you know, the, the coronavirus is a, is a deadly virus that is killing loads of people and it's obviously a total different entity in itself and I'm not comparing autism to that. What I'm comparing is, is the, the feeling of the pandemic and how it might be making everybody feel and then looking at those emotions and looking at the emotions that someone with autism faces on a day-to-day -day basis and drawing a comparison with the emotional side, nothing else. And I want to make that clear because it's a hard thing to kind of come out and, and say. It's kind of really tricky and I, I need to word it correctly because if not, everyone will just think I'm comparing autism to coronavirus and I'm not. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, tell me what you thought down below. Tell me if you agree with you know the emotional stance and obviously as well, let's bear, let's bear in mind as well, not only how everyone else is feeling with this whole pandemic, but also how it might be making people with autism feel considering it is that added uncertainty, it is that added stress on top of what they would be worried about already. So guys, thank you for watching. Take care and goodbye for now.